those chords wrong. Fuck. But anyway, you know this th this book. No, this book. It's just about as bad as my playing. Cause you know what? It's trash. But wait. I'm just the joking. Haha. <laughs> so funny. Three, two, one. Hello. Critical social anxiety here. Um. What's good? It's Stacy's pretty cool book review, and we're doing Animal Farm. Yeah, George Orwell's Animal Farm was and is a book that was published in August seventeenth, nineteen forty-five, in like England. Like it was first published in England. The book of which is a pretty symbol-based representation and reflection on past events regarding the Russian Revolution in 1917 and st the Stalinist era of the Soviet Union. So it's like a pol political thingy that, uh, that has certain views and statements to say on that stuff that happened. The novella falls under such genres as allegory satire slash political satire fable dystopian fiction slash political sto fi fi fiction political fiction yeah so yeah that's all we're gonna learn about that in the background stuff plan summary it is set on a farm which is why it's called animal farm obviously yeah run by farmer jones and it is set sometime in the 1900s 19 1910s to 1950s at least seems like it since it's based off of Russia and stuff in those events Like it's not really specified or disclosed on that So yeah, that's a pretty good guess because it's fictional Because because it's a fictional satire novel on the Russian communist. Oh, no, don't shoot me. I'm starving. My children are starving in Colin that that area and stuff and yes, okay, this one night, this old ass pig, old major, he's a beautiful ass prize winning boar. He has a dream which is one of like a non, non-human run world. Yeah, and he believes this is a prediction of the future. So he talks about, he's, he, he like holds a meeting and he's like, hey my boys. We gotta go for this. We gotta go for this, my boys. And goals. <laughs> and, he, and he preaches that message through a song, which is called Beasts of England, which, like, lyrically speaks of the goals of, like, freedom and prosperity and freedom and, and the lot. Like, three nights later, he, like, dies and... These three pigs, Snowball, Napoleon, and Squealer are like, oh no, my dude, we gotta spread his message and keep his legacy going and his, his goal, his life goal, his thingy. So they take on his principles that he preached to Beasts of England and reiterate it into animalism, this sort of, I don't know sort of religion guideline it's they're more like guidelines no wait religions are kind of guidelines but yeah whatever animalism it's pretty cool the guidelines and specifications are pretty straightforward and the sheep of course uh, of the farm like praise it and preach it and repeat it they're like the guidelines of animalism is of course uh Whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy. Ah, uh, whatever goes upon four legs or has a wings is a friend. Ah, uh, no animal shall wear clothes. Ah, uh, no animal shall sleep in the bed. Ah, uh, no animal shall drink alcohol. Ah, uh, no animal shall kill any other animal. Mm. All animals are equal. So then, they take... Farmer Jones out of control, just running him out after being so 
fed up and tired of him being such a drunk little bitch. After doing such a thing, so cool, so... Yeah, they celebrate and they're good, they're good, they're going good. The pigs elect themselves as the government or leaders that take on the responsibilities and such of the farm, running it and stuff. And it and it's all going all right, but then but then like there's some there's some setbacks and stuff such as planning to build a windmill which fails like almost two times. The pigs becoming more demanding, aggressive, and spoiled, running s snowball out of the farm. Some animals killing other animals, resulting in the leader animals killing those animals, like literally setting them on fire and stuff. Also getting attacked by surrounding farms, which is what happened to the second attempt at building a windmill and, and initiating social economy with other farms and whatnot. So yeah, they're really, really developing more, and it's kind of looking good. Kind of not. Kind of... 50-50. Uh, now on their third windmill, this really good horse that... <laughs> excuse me. That really, that's really good at working and stuff, and is really dedicated. This boxer horse, he like, breaks down. Being, after being so exhausted and like being near his retiring age as a horse so then Napoleon's like oh no dude that that sucks and he just yeets him to to a slaughterhouse and glue boiling factory so so after this the years go by the farm's more developed there's more there's more windmills like there's like five or six seven around there and there's more animals the pigs of course are being raised more better than the others and yeah and along with this come of years in development the commandments the guidelines of animalism has changed a lot and yeah yeah So then, just one day, out of nowhere, the pigs decided, oh hey, let's have a meeting with the humans, the farmers. So they get all dressed up. Don't. And stuff, and they like, go from this to this. So they start walking on two feet. And yeah. And... And they like shock the other animals. They're like, "Oh no! What the hell are you doing, you guys? You freaking goofs! You dummies! You Jesus! No, that's an abomination! Why?" And and then the pigs are like, "Shut up, you little bitch!" And yeah. And then they meet, have a meeting with the humans. The sheep are going along with it. They're like, "Ha ha ha ha." Haha, uh haha, -huh. uh -huh. two legs good, four legs bad, two legs good, four legs bad, or something like that. Yeah, and then, yeah, at their meeting, like, the pigs and the humans are having a meeting, and then for some reason, this feud or disagreement or, I don't know, it's just a fight breaks out, and then, yeah, then it says that there's no telling a difference between pig and human so then it's like oh shit the book and the storyline of the book uses some pretty pretty decent symbolism in it Spr sprinkled in there like see seeing how as like the Russian Revolution equals the revolt against humans slash Jones. The decision whether to expand communism or not equals the windmill. Karl, Karl Marx equals old major. Because Karl Marx was a cool person. Pretty wise. Pretty decent. I don't know if I'm saying that in bad taste or not. But Snowball equals Leon Trotsky. Because... Yeah, maybe something ha bad happened to him. I don't know, I have not researched for that. Wait, shh, shh. Napoleon. 
Joseph Stalin because Stalin's a penis. Squealer, propaganda, and the such and such of everything because he helped with that to push animalism. But yeah, Boxer, he's like the Russian laborers and workers and all that and just just dying. Just dying. Working for nothing. Jesus. That's sad. Boxer's death. <sighs> Stalin's betrayal of the Prelariat. Prelariat. Approximately 10 hours later. Proletariat. Proletariat. Yeah. Pro proletariat. Finally, I got it right. Mr. and Mrs. Jones. To star Nicholas II and his family, also capitalists in general. Napoleon's in initiative equals Stalin's five year plan because Stalin had a plan which involved economy, and I'm kind of vaguely connecting the both. Just, yeah, Napoleon was kind of a little bit more focused on socialist economy as he'd been selling resources to other farmers and all that pretty much having the same mentality as Stalin I guess because because it's based on socialism and it's like he's going along with a plan or something yeah the theme of this book to me is that power corrupts and that nobody can really handle it Seeing as how Napoleon kind of just dropped the ball there, letting letting other animals kill other animals and killing animals, which shouldn't should not have been a problem in the first place, but still. And how he kind of let himself and the other animals, I mean other pigs, let power to get to their heads, and shit. So my personal connection to this book is oppression. The animals being oppressed in a way. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, the five. Five. Do it. Do it. Do it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you read the book, uh, did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you, did you, are you indifferent on that? Just no comment? Okay, good. So here's my rate. Here, here's my rating. I would like to give this an 8, 8.5 out of 10 Lenin pigs because it was pretty captivating and the writing was good except for some minor grammar errors and whatnot and yeah <laughs> I hope I didn't ramble and mumble too much for you to not understand and what whatever and I hope you got the basic plot of this stupid book on or something I hope I don't know leave, leave a like subscribe don't look at the other videos on this channel whatever goodbye Good night. See you later. Bitch. Jesus, holy crap. That looks cool.